breathe. Alright, so um, I came in early today just so I can record this real quick. So today's video is going to be a little bit different. Um, I have a client coming in today that I'm doing Medusa on the inner thigh. I've never done an inner thigh so I don't, I don't know how that's going to go. And this client, I did a whole project, a whole outer sleeve project on him. And it's been over a year, no touch-ups, none of that. I just, one pass, I think it took two days back to back. I did it on a Monday and a Tuesday. I think it took about 10 hours to get this done, two days back to back. So he, he got from here all the way to the ankle. So no touch-ups, none of that, I, we just went at it, one pass. So this video, I wanted to focus on fresh versus healed. Because I do get a lot of questions on my YouTube asking, I want to see it healed and I want to see it after three months and I want to see it after a year. Or I feel like people's perspective is that the tattoo is going to look different when it heals and it's going to get lighter. And it is the case with a lot of artists depending on styles, depending on how they tattoo, if it's color, black and gray or true grays. As a client, you want to make sure that, that your piece is not going to fade in a year Year, you know or, or it's gonna look weird after like a couple days after you got it done so today is the perfect is the perfect day for me to explain this and show you guys how a fresh tattoo looks next to a heel tattoo after a year I definitely wanted to address this topic and and uh, really show you guys the way my work heals I'm not gonna be speaking for other artists because I don't I don't, I don't know the way they do their setup I don't know the way they tattoo I don't know their style you know so I'm only I'm only giving you guys my perspective and the way I tattoo and the way my tattoo is healed. It's gonna be interesting. I, I really, I'm really gonna like this video because I couldn't find a way to explain it until now that I was like, all right, I'm getting this question a lot and I, and I definitely wanna like talk about this, but I don't know how. Oh, also, drop a comment. Let me know what was your favorite part of this video and the best comment, I'm gonna sell you some money so you can take your boyfriend out, your girlfriend, your wife, your husband, your family, your kids, whoever you want to take out for breakfast or dinner, and I'm going to sell you some money and the food is on me. El tema que voy a estar platicando hoy lo voy a explicar en inglés porque hay muchos comentarios que me han dejado en inglés donde me preguntan cómo se cicatrizan mis piezas y cómo se miran después de tres meses, seis meses o un año. Entonces lo voy a estar explicando en inglés. Básicamente lo que voy a estar explicando es, este, tengo un cliente que va a venir hoy que le voy a hacer la parte de adentro de la pierna y afuera yo le hice un proyecto de toda la parte de afuera de la, de la pierna y de afuera todo la pantorrilla y todo eso le hice un proyecto grande que ya tiene alrededor pasando el año que ya está cicatrizado entonces lo que voy a estar explicando es cómo se mira una pieza fresca comparada a un año de, cica de que ya se cicatrizó este y déjeme saber cuál es su parte favorita de este video y el mejor comentario les voy a mandar dinero por la aplicación de Zeo y yo les voy a pichar el desayuno por si quieren llevar a su familia, sus amigos, novia, novio, esposo, esposa a desayunar y yo se los picho. Okay, so let's start by showing you how the project looks like after a year and five months. I'm really satisfied on how the tones and the contrast healed up. My favorite part about this project is that it looks more like a painting, like if I was drawing with charcoal. Now I'm going to show you a close up of the whole thing so you guys can really see the tones and the transitions that I used. I want you to pay attention to the white highlights. Now, white highlights sometimes, only sometimes, can turn yellow because the tattoo is exposed to the sun. In this case, my client took really good care of his tattoo and uh, it really shows, you know, and he also has really good skin. So now let's compare side by side fresh and healed and how much you changed. This area right here is fresh and this area is healed. Notice that it did not change a lot. I really like how it's hard to see where it's fresh and where it's healed. I think the hardest part was remembering what tones that I used last time. Moving on to the face, the face still looks a little bit red, it's still irritated. But I know once the redness is gone, we will be able to see how the tattoo is going to actually look like. Luckily, I get to show you guys both faces and compare it. I don't think I got nothing else to say, so 
Uh, I hope this video answers your questions and if you have any more questions, I'll try my best to answer it. So now I'm just going to show you the whole thing. So enjoy. <laughs>